Welcome everyone to the Sickos with Name. Oh my God! Try it again. <laughs> strike it. Try it again. Take two. No, That's don't strike. Don't you two. dare. Arthur, Take keep two. That. Welcome, everyone, to the Sickos Committee Podcast. This is our podcast for the evening of September 12th, 2023. We are on to week three now. We have two data points for many schools. Although I did not realize Colorado State has only played one game. <laughs> yeah, they had an early bye, and they're going to play 11 straight games now. Yeah, starting off that, with... That seems good. Well, I'll talk about those stats later on. Yeah, we'll talk about it a little bit later. As always, I'm Jordan. With me tonight, I've got Kamish, Beth, and Pit Girl. Pit Girl, how are you? I'm good. I saw a friend today, so it's been a good day. Always good. Beth? I also saw a friend today. Hooray for friend day. Yay, Yay. friend day. And Kamish, did you see a friend today? Uh, You know, I did parent-teacher orientation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't necessarily see friends today. Teachers saw, can be friends. I saw, you know, again, teachers are great. No, teachers it, can't be friends. Yeah, but, you know, again, new teacher here. We're not friends yet. We're we're acquaintances oh. at this point. But uh, I, I saw the fellow parents that were in the orientation, and, you know, you give them the little head nod, like, oh, mm -hmm. we're here, but we're dead tired. Yeah, that's that's what my day felt like. Well, folks, as we're on to week three, we need to talk about a couple things first. First off, off. Alf. Oh my, this is gonna be one of those. We have a Jim Harbaugh update. We did find out what he did during the UNLV game while yeah. his son was coaching. So yes. he ran the chain game at his other son's football game. Okay. And I just want to imagine Jim Harbaugh, member of the chain game. Okay, so which job do you think he had? Do you think he was the do you think he was like line of scrimmage down marker guy? And I know there's some pictures of this, but like spiritually, where would you put him? Is he running the sticks or is he or is he the guy with the clip? I Ooh. I think he's the one that on the stick by the first down marker to revisit the spot from 2016. And every time he's just like, oh, yeah, good. I, I, I know the, <laughs> at the end. I swear. Just That's pull, definitely just a, pull a little harder. Pull it harder. He's short. He's short. Someone count the I links like of this the... chain. I like the idea of making him responsible for just making sure that it says the right down number. <laughs> That's his job. Oh, the, the counting guy. Mm -hmm. I think he I would feel, enjoy that. I think and he because some peace in that. Because it would get to his number, number four, and mm -hmm. he would be happy on fourth downs. We also found out that he did mow the lawn before Michigan played and went to McDonald's for a halftime snack. Mm -hmm. I believe we had that. Yeah, Kamish, so, when Kamish found this out, I got I got a message from him at like 6 30 this morning while i'm driving to work i'm sitting in traffic so i do look at my phone and i get a lmao i knew it i was right <laughs> <laughs> i was right so yeah i love that he mowed the front lawn before the game then he went to mcdonald's at halftime for a meal and then he returned to mow the back lawn once the game ended mm-hmm this is the way. What is the Jim Harbaugh I mean, McDonald's order? It's that's how you do it. What is the Jim Harbaugh McDonald's order? Does Jim Harbaugh have like a special like McDonald's meal like some of those celebrities? So, so do? I, I I guarantee I know what he used to do. Because okay. there was a point in time, this may be before your time pick girl, where McDonald's would sell you a hamburger for twenty nine cents on Mondays, mm -hmm. or a cheeseburger for thirty nine cents on Wednesdays, just the plain old ones. And we used to go in either before rehearsal or something like that. And like a table of high school boys, we would order like 20 of them. Well, yeah. Right. And I feel like that used to be his order. Hmm. Just a table of cheeseburger. He feels very double quarter pounder with cheese to me. What's the difference? Two of them. What? You got two hands, two burgers. What's the difference That's between true. a McDouble and a double quarter pounder with cheese? So the McDouble is two standard hamburger or cheeseburger patties on a on a bun okay. yeah the double quarter pounder is two quarter pound patties okay so that's a it's like a half pound burger. Yeah, you're dealing with a half pound of meat now yeah like you have made a serious investment a this is your whole day pre cooked now. half pound of meat I don't... it it doesn't matter because it, uh, there's still a half pound of look in there <laughs> it, there's there's no way jim harbaugh would eat a big mac it's too much bread in the middle there's a lot of lettuce yeah no he's, he's not down for he that. wants more protein no. Yeah, but he's like, Thousand he Island does offer the opportunity for extra dairy. The thing I it find does. myself wondering about is how Jim Harbaugh feels about the McGangbang. Okay, so what? the McGangbang. <laughs> what? 
in the game bank you take a you take a big mac you separate it out and in the center you put a uh, mcchicken correct yes yeah so i was in montreal my bachelor party and uh, at at 1 a.m wandered into the mcdonald's on rue st catherine and ask for Le Mick Gangbang. <laughs> they they did not understand what I wanted. So I had to order a uh Big Mac and uh McPoulet. Did they did they then have to watch you commit your sin did, like in front of them? They did because I was very drunk and also <laughs> other intoxications. And so before I even got to my table, I assembled the burger like on the counter. Oh my god. And then, uh, then a see, bunch of young ladies watched me devour it. I could see Jim Harbaugh ordering a land, air, and sea. I could absolutely okay. see that. Yeah. And him being like, I would like a land, air, and sea extra cheese. Does the filet fish have cheese on it naturally? It does. Yes. yes. Why? It's automatic. Oh, my oh, God. I, hate, I mean, I don't like fish, but I hate that. Yes, anyway. it is. It is a, it is a, a, a white fish of indeterminate origin. Mm -hmm. Patty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Combined with a, a slice of American cheese uh -huh. and uh, a help, a, a heap and help and glop of tartar sauce. Do you think that he eats just the old school egg McMuffin? Probably. Like that's the breakfast. It's just like an old school egg McMuffin. That feels right. And a black coffee. He's <sighs> he's the kind of person. My grand. There used to be like this name McDonald's. Like I used to know these folks that would walk in and just <laughs> put like, like whenever coffee was like a quarter or something, they would just walk up and like put a quarter on the counter and grab their own coffee cup because they were yeah, there every they, day. They throw it on the correct change and get their coffee on their own. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, definitely. Like I remember know this that. and for sure. He, I feel like if this were still an option, he would do that because there's no way he's eating the fruit and maple oatmeal. Mm -mm. There's no way he's eating the Mick cafe coffees. He's not going in and asking for like a caramel latte. I could see him ordering a big breakfast because you eat it with a knife and fork and it doesn't get all over the car. Can you imagine the level of dad rage you would have if you ordered a um one of the one of the biscuit sandwiches that just explodes in your car like some sort of flower bomb? I I know psychopaths, true psychopaths here that order the Whataburger biscuits and gravy platter and eat it in their car while they're driving. How? That is psychopathic behavior. Yo. This has me more upset than the idea of drinking McCon McDonald's coffee black, which is a thing that I know people do, but also their yes. coffee is awful. Don't do that to yourself. It's better now. I like, Ar better now. I like Arthur's question. We can move on from the crazy uh, Dallas-Fort Worth driver folks uh, that, that do that, which uh, I'm sure that happens in San Antonio, but they're probably doing it with breakfast tacos, which is a little bit more no, handheld. I, I eat breakfast uh, tacos yeah. on the road, but like having yeah. biscuits and gravy, it is just slop. How yeah. do you want to get it, taco like, everywhere? I don't. It's it's wrapped in foil. Yeah, you're yeah. Fine. You wrap the bottom. You wrap the bottom in foil. It's it's way. Yeah, at the bottom of foil. That's fine. It's really easy. Um, Arthur asked a question. Do you think Jim Harbaugh orders a fillet of fish during Lent? Yeah, he's Catholic. Is he very Catholic? Sa he is. Saban's very Catholic. I know that. But I mean, does he observe that no meat on Fridays thing? Oh, guarantee. Most, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. There's there's, okay. there's no way that Jim Harbaugh is a casual Catholic in terms of rules. Okay. There's, Does there's, Jim Harbaugh do anything casually? Right, exactly correct. There's. I would imagine that Jim Harbaugh brings his copy of the like the White Catechism book with him to mass to call to call penalties on the priest yeah. for making mistakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guarantee, guarantee. When they do, it, it, when, Jim when, when they do, just watch him like throw the red challenge flag in the air and be like, "You were supposed to hold up the host for at least three seconds to allow us to genuflect properly, sir." When they do too many curies oh. before the Christi. Oh yeah, just like yeah. fucking nope. Two curious and a Christy. We don't do fucking no five here. We're not filling time. The you only think thing we are Baptists. <laughs> the only thing Jim Harbaugh does casually is 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 wear those khakis. I those casual pants. I I wouldn't be surprised. He probably doesn't do this, but like it would. <laughs> he probably grew up one of the families that never ate meat on any Friday, because that oh. was a thing. Because that was a thing for a long time. Oh. It was. And, and no meat on any of the Holy Days of Obligation. Right. Yeah. So mm. Feast of the Assumption, Feast of the whatever. Yeah, huh? Exactly. This feels like how okay. he grew up. And he might be, his chill version is just like, you know, cheese pizza Fridays. My birthday was a feast day. And yeah, there were, there were some rules in my house at some points growing up because I'm a weird half and half. Let's talk about the decline and fall of the Pac-12 because they had a court meeting, a court hearing today. <laughs> to try to get them to not have a meeting this coming week because it turns out 
the Pac-12 members who are leaving are trying to use Pac-12 money to cover their exit costs. Someone on Twitter said it, and I can't figure out who it is. I, I forgot it. But if I'm quoting you, I apologize for not citing. That it's like leaving the boat on the dinghy, turning it back around because you forgot to pillage it. No, you grab shit on the way out. Once you're fired, you can't raid the, the equipment closet anymore. That's why people escort you out. So you're telling me that the folks who are leaving the Pac-12 are very, very bad pirates. Yes, they're very bad. Okay. And of course, the precedent here that the other presidents, the precedent that the presidents, did I get that right, should not be able to vote on things is because as soon as USC and UCLA and Colorado decided they were leaving, their presidents were no longer allowed to vote. Oh. And the other teams have been very clear that they're leaving as well. So there are two members of the Pac-12 left who have entire voting rights, the way I see it. And the other schools should have figured this shit out before they ran. It's just nice to know that the Pac-12 will continue to live on in our hearts and in the American court system for at least the next few decades. Oh, it, at least, because this is... Imagine that all of your co-workers att- like quit en masse and come back the next day and they're like, by the way, as of today, we're going to raid the pension fund. Yeah, like, oh, by the way, you owe me severance. No, you quit. And everyone's being like, oh, Oregon State and Wazoo can't actually keep the Pac-12 together for two more years. No, nah, they legally can. Mm-hmm. I've seen stupider things out of spite. A spite conference is what we're going to get. And I fucking love it. Oh, maybe that'll start to be a thing. We just start getting spite conferences everywhere. Yes. I'm into that. Mm-hmm. Mm. My favorite thing about all of this discourse is the folks at the end of the call who unmuted to just be like, go Cougs, go Beavs, and then hang up. That, I mean, go Cougs, go Beavs. That, that, that was me. I did that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, was uh, there. You know, I was there in spirit. And what's wonderful is that the American court system runs on a system that is based upon tradition. And so now I think that every type of um, off bench meeting, any sort of status conference, everything needs to end with uh, the with the words that were enshrined in jurisprudence this week. Go Cougs, go Beefs. Co- common law is so weird. Well, you know, I mean, we couldn't get it done in, in Louisiana because it's it's Napoleonic code. I, I don't know. That would have uh, that, that would have been some like we're going to split the conference in half with a sword. You mean the paperwork? No, I mean get a cougar. No. We're gonna cut. We're gonna cut a coog in half. We're gonna and we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna, gonna put a half cougar, half beaver together, and if it stays alive, the conference can survive. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some cougar beaver gumbo. Cougar beaver gumbo sounds like something like the French trappers did, and some of them yeah, they probably, probably did do that. The yeah. French Canadian trappers, exactly, and they probably wandered down to New Orleans, and there's some like Acadians still hanging mm. around in. So okay, so instead of beaver in Louisiana, it'd be it'd definitely be Nutra muskrat. Uh, uh, no, it'd be Nutra Nutra rat. Uh, instead of the beaver, Is that was no it. Nutra would... loaf? Is it Nutra? Uh, nu- no, Nutri. Is that like ham loaf? <laughs> no, <laughs> Nutra loaf sounds like Soylent Green, but not. They, neutral loaf was what they stopped. They, they 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 decided it was food that was cruel and unusual punishment in the prison system. Okay. Yeah, definitely not going to make that combo. Also known as disciplinary loaf. Oh no! Lock up loaf, oh. confinement loaf, like punishment loaf, or the loaf. <laughs> Speaking of punishment, let's go to the ACC network breakdown. <laughs> Saturday morning. You wake up early at 5 a.m. Central. Here, I'll put it on Eastern time because this is an Eastern Co- East Coast conference. Actually, I should put, it, should put it on Pacific time because this is now a PAC conference too. Pretend like we're in the Azores. Let's go. Uh, at 6 a.m., we have Lafayette versus Duke. I'm not sure from what year that is. Uh, I think that was last week. Okay, that was last week. Okay, great. Yeah. Then we do get a replay of Vandy Wake Forest at 9.30 a.m. Do you think they'll keep the weather delay in? <laughs> I God, I hope so. <laughs> Then we have all access with Carolina I, no, football. I want to say, I forgot to mention about this this Vandy Wig game. There was one particular set of plays that I really loved, and I forgot to mention it in our crazy review. Uh, Vandy gets all the way to Wake Forest's one, and they try to punch it in from the one stuffed. So 
then Wake on their next possession, they drive 99, uh, like 98 yards and they get to Vandy's one in, in like two or three plays. Yep. It was very quick. And, and then, and then Wake fumbles on the one. And I was like the perfect drive of the, of that game. Uh, All that effort for nothing. Oh, absolutely nothing. We, we also get uh, ACC huddle. There is no early game on the network. We are just going to get more all access with Carolina football. But then at 3.30, we do get Northwestern versus Duke. Okay. Which is going to be, I didn't realize that's, Duke has only given up two touchdowns this year so far. That's, uh, okay. Won the Clemson and won the Lafayette. So, uh, okay. <laughs> and then we have the nightcap or the, the primetime game, Florida Atlantic at Clemson. Sure. Okay. okay. That's the only football on the network. Where's everything else? Is there another one on the CW or something? There is. I think Let so. Me see. It's Georgia Tech in no, it's not Georgia Tech this week. No, it's um where is it on the CW? Oh, it's oh VMI oh, at NC State. Yeah. Oh my god. Sure. The key dance. <laughs> I am the key dance oh, it's and because, I need to be the It's because I missed the Thursday night game. Oh. Thursday night oh. is Bethune Cookman at Miami on ACC. Okay. Network. Okay. Okay. They do get that. No, but at noon on ABC, like God, God's on ABC, they are putting on Florida State at Boston College, which is actually an execution. Okay. That's uh, the key but, debts are, but, are but now one and one. There's, there's no way, Pit Girl. There's, what? there's no way that that's not. It's okay. So the, here's the way it might not be it's, it's in Chestnut Hill, which, you know, is a very intimidating place to play. We've decided this. Oh, I mean, yeah. But there is a hurricane headed towards the Northeast. That might get there Saturday morning. <laughs> We're not sure where it's going to go. It might, it might go to Nova Scotia. I'm just saying stranger things have happened. That would be spicy. Okay. Also, we should let the show play neck. And we're going to talk about the NEC real fast. First off, LIU at Baylor. Oh, yeah. The Sharks Ooh. and the Bears. My favorite West Side Story sequel. Central Connecticut State at Kent State. Stonehill traveling to Georgetown. Wagner at Sacred Heart. St. Francis U at Delaware, Virginia Lynchburg at Merrimack, and Duquesne is going to Coastal Carolina to the surf turf. Ooh. These games are all found on ESPN Plus or NEC Front Row, which is a free streaming service you can get. Or uh, the St. Francis is Delaware games on Flow Sports. So it's even more hidden than the Pac-12 network. We put this show in order, sort of our feeling about what games of the week might be. We're going to have to hash some of them out. Let's start with the one that we have currently number one right now, and that's Syracuse at Purdue. This is the game that last year made my favorite gif in the whole world. The young lady what? who said, what was it? It was, what the fuck is this? No, what is it? This is so fucking stupid. This is so fucking this stupid. So and then the dude, stupid. and then the cut down to the dude just going, woo, woo! which is beautiful. Okay. I want to say something like they, there's replies to our tweets that are saying they wish they could get the girl that is saying this is so mm -hmm. fucking stupid. Please stop. Don't do that no more. Hey, don't be weird. Yeah, don't, don't, Please don't, don't be, be weird. weird. Don't, mm -hmm. don't be posting like, you know. I will don't, I don't will sign into the account from which I very rarely tweet and horny bonk you for yes. this. Please yeah, do. Don't, don't make don't, me horny bonk you. Doing that. No, don't do that. You remember like, how they made the Arizona Stop Girl a thing and how that became like a very creepy thing. Do not yeah, do that. Don't be weird. Do not do that. This game last year was so back and forth. This was part of our is Syracuse good Syracuse. Yeah. And I, again, we'll be this is Syracuse might be three and out and we still might not have an answer for that question. Look, I mean, I, I know it's like something where it, it it's a curious question every time, like, because I want them to be good. And I, I want to know if they are or not. So it's not like something we're, we're bagging on Syracuse. We love Syracuse. It's just, it's a curiosity. I'm like, okay, like last year, it kind of grew out of nowhere, like because they beat, you know, Louisville, and then uh, like Louisville beat somebody, and we're like, wait, hold up. If Syracuse like handled them, like what the hell? This year, it's kind of just like, okay, they had an okay year last year. They went to the Pinstripe Bowl. They had a weird up and down year, but I don't know. It's 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 just basically uh, the question is is out of curiosity, and if you know my my real name. You, you'll definitely understand that question. If they win this one, we still may not have an answer the next week because then they play Army week four, and then they play Clemson at home in week five. So we'll, we'll, we'll probably find out then. But is it a weird, like, Friday game? Uh, no, it is a Saturday game, unfortunately. Okay. All right. It's not, like, is, Friday in Syracuse. Is Clemson good? 
Oh, see, I think they're trash. And I think that's also why we're not going to know the answer here. There's a, there's a chance North Carolina also might be fake. So they could be one, two, three, four, five, six well, and oh, rolling is, into Tallahassee. Is is the only team that we kind of know for sure that's good is is probably Florida State, I would say. On the on the list I'm looking at, yes. Okay. Yeah. I would like to posit that UNC is the ACC's USC. Ooh. Okay. A lot of offense, but no defense. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can say that. And yeah. a lot of hype that may or may not be deserved. And uh, some, some, you know, a bombastic head coach on the sideline. Uh, one is old and, and one is much younger. Just, I, I was looking at a picture of Mac Brown's house, it was a picture for a news article in there, and I saw a painting of him, like, in his younger days. I was like, that's it. That's the Dorian Gray painting. That's where the energy goes. <laughs> That painting is going to age and he will get younger. Hey, everyone. Cybernetic Mac Brown here for 2025 or sorry, 2225 Texas football. I destroyed that one. Fuck it. Oh, boy. Fuck it. I don't know why uh, this popped in my head, but now I have Mac Brown singing. He's much too young to feel this damn old. (laughs) But okay, I don't know. (laughs) Oklahoma, but every part is played by Mac Brown. I'm just a girl. Where the wind (laughs) goes sweeping down the flames. Mac Brown just belting out, I'm just a girl who can't say no. The music man, but every part is played by Mac Brown. Okay. Ooh. When I take you out in Missouri. <laughs> How do we go from is Syracuse good to Mac Brown? <laughs> this is why the listeners listen to the podcast. Exactly. Okay. No rails. It's, commis- it, it's Commission's <laughs> first episode. This is wonderful. <laughs> no, I just had to ask the question, but I mean, I'm talking about Mac Brown singing Garth Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. Mac Brown in I Little Shop of Horrors. Ho- Little Shop of Horrors, but every part is Mac Brown. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> okay. I, now, now he's singing I'll Be Your Dentist in my head. Why did you Oh, do there that? we go. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, folks. I'm going to let I'm gonna let Pit Girl and Beth do this one. Uh, backyard Brawl, go. Do we have to? <laughs> Someone's going to win this game. <laughs> Are they? Does any can anyone win this game? Can the game be won, really? I'm not sure. Emotionally, physically, psychologically. So so I see no reason that Pitt will not win this football game. I see no reason whatsoever. I I, I can't think of a reason that we will. <laughs> Do you have can okay, can your quarterback successfully throw a 7-yard post? No. That is true. Mm. He can't do it. Phil can't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. Phil Yurkovich completed 10 passes, and three of those were were for touchdowns. I mean, he did. I mean, if he throws a seven-yard post, it will be a touchdown. Who's the dude he targeted 10 times? (sighs) (laughs) This is good. What's his name? Bug Means? Bub Means. Bub. Yes. Bub Means. Mm -hmm. All right. I I just don't know how this is going to go because... It's, is this? It's like who's. I feel like if Pitt does the thing, it's because we did, like, we went full Iowa and the defense scores, and that's it. I mean, I, this this is like two elephant seals just screaming at each other. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're trying to play checkers. These are two teams that are completely ill suited to play football at all. And now they must play football against each other. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have a good time, but also like, man, I'm driving across Pennsylvania and then into West Virginia for this. I mean, it's not so bad. <laughs> uh, so, I, I mean, at West Virginia, this week we discovered that probably our single most productive wide receiver wasn't getting a scholarship until Saturday. So, to, so let's let's look at some numbers here. I'm going to pull up Parker's stuff. That's a war. Oh God! And let's oh, let's no. see what this matchup looks like, okay? Because I think this is the way to do it. Let's look at how these how these units match up. So we've got it looks like the Pitt defense versus the West Virginia offense is the is the better matchup. West Virginia's offense has a pretty good EPA per pass. It's positive. Duquesne. Okay, yes, it's being it's being. But Pitt also had Wofford. Um, and you guys yeah. played Penn State and we played Cincinnati. So, like, this should be a wash. Those are the same. 
the the one that bothers me here is uh, points per echel, and I don't know if you guys know what an echel is. An echel is the way Parker describes quality possessions. Basically, an echel is every time you make it inside, either like you score a big touchdown, like a big run or big pass, or every time you're inside like the 35 or 40 or something. And both of these teams are only basically getting about four points every time they get inside the 35. I'll be honest. It feels like it's less than that. <laughs> yeah. Anytime we get anywhere near a place where I'm like points might happen, every part of my body starts screaming. It's just, it, it, it's a it's a physiological reaction at this point to what is happening before my eyes. Is that what Pitt is like right now? Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. This is going to be beautiful. I'm I'm so excited for this because brawl is probably the correct word for this. I mean, what you're going to get out of this game is two teams that have no business will like succeeding at anything here, trying their very, 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 very hardestest. I have a, a Twitter mutual uh, shout out to a friend of the show, Jive Narduzzi, who has repeatedly described this game as two hobos fighting over a bag of Skittles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly right. And uh, Pit Van Arthur says, I feel good about going to Bristol this weekend. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Bristol's a good time. I would recommend it. So, yes. Yeah, but I'm not throwing a tailgate at Bristol. That is true. Kamish, what do you think? About this game? Yeah. Really? You want my opinion? I want on your one? opinion. We do. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's at Morgantown. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean anything. Um, it's at night in Morgantown. If we're during the day in Morgantown, I, I might give West Virginia a little bit of a bump there. We'll be able yeah, to we, see the glow of the couches on the horizon, maybe. Because we dark. might have some, we might get some demon fog. That's always fun. Hmm. I I like this one. I, I anticipate this one a little bit more than last year. Last year was like the brawl first game of the season uh, on a Thursday. Uh, this one we have basically two d data points for both teams, and both teams are not confident. I expect just nothing but haymakers to be thrown in this game. <laughs> And I don't know if any of them are going to connect. And it could be a lot of just basically just swinging and missing and, <laughs> or 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 just like ridiculousness back and forth where somebody makes a, a crucial mistake. And, and that's how they lose this game. This this kind of feels like El Asico a little bit on Moonshine. Mm. Yeah. This year, uh, because. But like I the don't... bad stuff. So we're all kind of blind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's, it's like white the lighting. high quality. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not the high quality moonshine here. It's the stuff that'll that you know you don't know what your cousin has has put in. Oh, is this, this is this the apple pie flavored flavored moonshine from the store? No, no. no. this is in a jug, no, yeah. or a jar, probably a jar. Yeah, don't this... worry, we cleaned it out with ammonium nitrate before it beforehand, and we kind of shook it a little bit, so that most of that's probably out of the bottle. <laughs> This one, this one could have some weird fireworks. Uh, it could have both teams just completely fall flat. I have no idea what to expect, it, but I, I want to watch and I want to ask the question to to Pit Girl and 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 Beth. Uh, are, are you guys going to do like a podcast bet for this one? Oh God! <laughs> Can I mean you don't have to do something ridiculous here, but I would like to see. Maybe some sort of a, a wager of, of sorts, um, you know, may, maybe something that, you know, one side will have to do something uh, associated with the other side on the on the follow up podcast when we do the recap. Ooh, Arthur suggested pepperoni rolls versus pierogies, but OK. That's easy. It's I easy just dropped delicious. the podcast. Hello, podcast. Goodbye, they both, podcast. They both, are, they both are delicious, but yes. They are both delicious. Yes. Run it through your head for a bet. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll have we'll to think let that percolate. Come back that a little bit. Let's let's go to the next one here that we have. Next listed. one, we've got a Big Ten ACC matchup. Virginia Tech at Rutgers. According to Parker, Rutgers is favored. And I don't know how to feel about that. Who scheduled this? This whole week is who scheduled this, okay? People were bitching That's about how bad like. this week is. It's not a bad week. It's a weird week. The dream of I, the Big East is alive. Mm -hmm. I don't know who scheduled this. I, I'm glad they did, though. This one is going to be interesting to me. Like, Rutgers is kind of like old school, pound the ball, grind you to death. And, you know, Virginia Tech's trying to get an identity going, which they're, they're 
you know, the quarterback Wells has got one going. Uh, they seem to pass the ball more than run it uh, because the leading rusher for Virginia Tech only has 59 yards. Uh, the, the leading, uh, the, the passer has 494 yards in their two games, but I don't know. This one is just really curious. And why is this on the schedule? I'm not asking why I'm just thankful that it's on the schedule. I don't care why. I want to say that, uh, Grin Hen in our discord and Patreon has said two days ago, FanDuel had the brawl at WVU minus 1.5. Now it's pit minus 1.5. I don't think any news has come out about either team. Even Vegas doesn't know what to do with this. Yeah, no, I, I can I can give you one piece of betting advice. Do not ever bet on Pitt. They will do exactly the opposite of what you would like them to do. Do not. This is Frankly, actual wagering advice from me. The only time you will ever get actual wagering advice from me. I have seen or I have either been at or watched every backyard brawl for the last 30 plus years. You should not bet on this game. You should not ever bet on this game. That's a very bad idea. I would sooner take a three-team parlay of D3 teams before I would bet on this game. What about your 9-11 parlay? Salute. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> um, did that involve the Jets? It did. It did. <laughs> The Jets, the the Jets, the Mets, and the Yankees. That I I, I know uh, we're we're off off the topic here, but that Jets Monday night game oh, fiasco mwah. fucking beautiful was, was amazing. That was I enough had, of a fiasco that obnoxiously Pit boyfriend had jokes about Aaron Rodgers today. I, my wife knew I, what happened. Yeah, I, seriously, obnoxiously Pit boyfriend knew what happened. Yeah, oh, this mainstreamed. This 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 crossed the line to where your parents are like, "Did you see what happened in the game last night?" I, I got messages like, "Oh, I can't believe that happened." And yeah, there was a lot of fun stuff for that one. I think my favorite was the the person losing their uh, fantasy game by point zero six points mm -hmm. because Aaron Rodgers got hurt on the fourth play of the game. Uh, and then the other one was the the Packers fans who were drinking. Uh, and celebrating when Aaron Rodgers went down because they thought that their tabs were going to be free because the Jets were going to lose now. And uh, there was a, there's oh a deal at the God. bar. Yeah, there was a deal at so the they bar. They all started drinking and hard. They all started oh, drinking no. and running up tabs. But then the Jets came back and won in an overtime on an awesome punt return. Stephen F. Shout Austin's Steve. own. Yes. Shout out to Stephen F. Austin Excellent. to win it. And then. You could see people in the picture just like like when they saw that happen, realizing they had to pay. And I like to imagine the one that was looking at it had his phone and had his hand over his mouth, uh, just realized how much he had in his bank account and compared to what he, the tab he just ran up. Mm -hmm. Imagine, imagine you're like LSU Jello shot guy, oh, but it's God. a surprise. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you have to do a second mortgage to pay your bar tab. Oh my that, God! That's got to be a standard loan in Nebraska, in in Wisconsin. Can I get a home equity line of credit? That's got to be a standard. That's, that's got to be standard in Wisconsin. Rocco's. What about a Northern Illinois at Nebraska? There is a lot of Mac Big Ten this week, which is good. But this is a weird Mac Big Ten because we have Northern Illinois who beat Boston College but lost to Southern Illinois, and in Nebraska that is being ripped down to the studs. Up. Okay, the, their okay. quarterback is banged up. It did. Yeah. It did not matter if Sims is banged up, because it wasn't like when he was healthy he could hold on to the ball anyways. Well, once he's banged up, it means they can use tape, so they just tape the ball to him. Then he can hold on. They need to stick it. him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stick, no, just stick, athletic stick. tape. You just like you slowly athletic tape the ball to him and then send him running. The O line is just holding, 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 holding as the center turns around and just straps it to his hand. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with that one. So how about the, okay, timeout. The Rio Grande rivalry, lame name. The battle of I, is it I-45? 25. 25, lame. I'm going to give you two options here. Is it the Battle of Enchantment or the Brawl of Enchantment? This is New Mexico State, New Mexico. It's the Battle of Enchantment. Yeah, there's only one brawl. Okay. Well, and the Brawl of the Wild. Okay. That one can stay. So I, I'm going it, to- It's- it's not a brawl if you can't imagine it happening in a dimly lit bar with folding chairs that are poorly put together. But the Battle of Enchantment, my name for this game, that I'm going to make work, okay, is being played, I believe, in Albuquerque this year. It is, yes. And the thing we just heard is that Jerry Kill may not coach this due to health issues. 
Oh no. Right. So Jerry Kill, if you don't, if you're, for our younger listeners, Jerry Kill was originally coach at, I don't know, it was, how long ago was that? Minnesota. Not very long. Okay, fine. If you were very young, I guess. Then he used to be the Okay, co- so, so Pick Girl, there used to be this team called Minnesota. They won national titles at one point. Trust me, ask Yeah, me. they were winning national titles at about the same time Pitt was, except for the 76 National Championship. Thank you. We are up to speed. Thank you. So Jerry Kill had health problems, that, and that's one of the reasons he stopped coaching at Minnesota. And then he took some time off. He ended up being an assistant at TCU under Gary Patterson, and then sort of out of nowhere took the New Mexico State job. And we hope that things go better for him. We hope that things catch up because he's doing a great job at New Mexico State. And I hope that this is going to be, this is another one where I'm not sure what the score is going to look like. I feel like New Mexico State wins this, but I couldn't tell you how by, by how much. It's essentially in the Parker Stats of War thing. It's a coin flip. It is very, very coin flippy. And I'm excited about it. But again, I don't know if Jerry's not able to coach. I don't necessarily know. I, I hope he's well. I was looking at, uh, the reports from uh, Colin Deaver. What was said was that coach was a little under the weather. We all hope for a quick and speedy recovery. So I'm hoping it was just like a cold or something. I, I don't, I hope it's not anything serious. I, I wish the best for coach kill because, you know, I mean, he's, he's such a huge part of that team and, and, and them, you know, returning to prominence and winning the quick lane bowl. So you, it, you it would see, be they've returned to prominence. Yes. But that implies prominence beforehand hey we we did a podcast about the 1960 team okay you're right you're absolutely right you could you could do magic what about fiu at uconn yes mm-hmm. how, how are we yes please that's we've had an fiu that has been high flying fun and we had an fiu that uh was not I don't know who shows up, but this is UConn's chance to get their first win of the year. I don't know which FIU shows up. I'm, I'm really confused. Like, we had the stat that, uh, you know, Pitt Girl was like, I, I will not be fooled by your ruse, Kamish. And <laughs> just, I, I again, like, the first game FIU completes, like, five for 14 passes for four yards. Mm-hmm. The the next game, they, you know, they do a little bit better offensively, and then, the, then they just throw up 46 points against North Texas. Yep. I mean, at least they're heading in the right direction. With those two data it, points, they're telling me they're going to score 60 in this game. Three three points, but yes. Oh, they played three. They played in week zero. Oh, I forgot That's they played right. week zero. They played La Tech. Uh, they played Maine and barely beat the Black Bears 14-12. Uh, barely. They, they seem to have a lot of really close games with FCS teams. They did that last year with Bryant. From what our UConn followers are telling us, if the quarterback's mobile at all, like what Georgia State's quarterback did to them, yeah. Uh, they're in trouble. So uh, let's see. It's at Brenchler Field by the Cabela's in the old airfield. I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm curious. Let's see how FIU travels up north, up the Atlantic coast. They're going to be wearing their, I don't know, their cran, their their New England cranberry uniforms. I don't know. I'm just making shit up now. Like they have this came berry. Yeah, this came berry. This came berry. Just out here chasing a hurricane down. I mean, like, they try to avoid the hurricanes, and then they go up there. Oh, no. I hope it stays off land. It doesn't bother anybody. Just just go to, to, like... He's going to go to Nova Scotia. Go, no, don't go to... Nova Scotia doesn't need any more. They had a, a lot of flooding earlier. We don't need any more of that there. So get it get it away from Canada, too. Sickos Committee podcast. A pro fish storm podcast. Yeah, this just stir up the fish. Can I... And, and nobody go fishing out there. Can I offer you an ACC show, showdown? Virginia at Maryland. That's right. Maryland's still in the ACC. I don't care. It may say Big Ten on your jersey. You're still ACC in our hearts. Conferences are a construct. It's fine. Oh, right. 100%. And who knows where they're going to be in two months? Your conference doesn't love you. They don't love you. You do not owe them any type of loyalty. Hmm? Nothing is real. How about... No, I'm, I'm curious about Maryland because they they came back and... and, and you know, we're able to take down Charlotte. Okay. But it wasn't but, necessarily. But think about that impressive. sentence you just said, though. Yeah. <laughs> they were able to come back and take down Charlotte. A real sentence that you said in the year of our Lord 2023. Like, That's like right. it was something to be impressed about. No, I, I didn't. You know, if you could take it whatever way you wanted, but they, they came back and they put Charlotte away. 
but they didn't do it until like the fourth quarter, you know? Yes. They shouldn't have had to, they, they shouldn't have had to come back. That's my argument. I mean, I, I mean, you, you are, you are, you know, minimizing Biff Pogey's, you know, presence here. I'm not, I'm not because I'm, don't, because, don't do that. Because, because the next game down is Georgia state at Charlotte and Biff's going to take a big bite of, of uh, Panther, Panther, Panthers, right? Panther. Yeah. They are big the bite Panther. of Panther. Uh, not the Carolina Panther, the Georgia state Panther. It, don't do it either way. Panther is not delicious. Hey Beth. Okay. Hey Beth. Hey what? That sentence. What sentence? Never mind. Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> Biff is Biff. Of course, has the right to bear arms, especially in Charlotte, and he will be bearing them on his cutoffs. Apparently, there I, are I'm, just a big old set of bear arms. They are. I'm good. I'm just curious. When it's like November, is he yes. gonna like do a hoodie? No. With the sleeves ooh, open. Ooh. I was going to say, for sure, he will not be wearing sleeves, but is it going to be a hoodie or a shirt still? I, I think he would go with the hoodie. He's from, he's from Baltimore. I, I don't know, man. You know? If he's from Baltimore, there's a decent chance that we might get long sleeve hoodie and shorts. Oh, the Fetterman. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Pit Girl, would you like to share the headline you just found? I will. I was checking the National Weather Center website for the hurricane mornings, about which we were just discussing great headline for hurricane lee which is the one that is ostensibly headed towards nova scotia but also maybe new england tbd largely lumbering northwestward i love that we have we all collectively know some folks that work for national weather service or NOAA or whatever and that do some of the social media stuff and if this isn't one of ours it's that they definitely love this because largely lumbering mm-hmm. is a beautiful set of a beautiful it's bit of so words. good so good how about tcu at houston you want to talk about bad vibes in a game, guys? Oh, boy. This is a conference oh. game. This might be an anxiety bowl. That's, I am I am afraid of that because Houston looked bad against Rice. In the first half. Did Houston look bad or does Houston just want you to think they looked bad? Is This is, this is, this is. <laughs> They're lulling TCU into a false sense of security. There's an episode of King of the Hill where Bobby's hanging out with Mr. Strickland. Hank's boss. And basically, uh, Mr. Strickland is losing a poker game and he starts faking a heart attack. And that feels like a very Dana Holgerson thing. Like if he's down at Tunica, like he faked the heart attack on the table. Oh, the chips are going everywhere. Oh no, I'm having an yeah. infarction. It's I guarantee you it's gotten him at least at least out of at least one casino without getting arrested. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be Coog Coaster times a hundred. For sure. This is Coog Coaster, but it's one of those like drag race roller coasters where instead of you like slowly climbing the lift hill, they just shoot you up the lift hill. And at the top, they there's a frog that blasts you with eye blood. I'm telling you, I'm going to get Roller Coaster Tycoon and start designing a, a special cougar coaster for every game they have this year. Excitement, nine. Intensity, 20. Nausea, off the chart. Ends in a lake, absolutely. <laughs> You read their little thoughts. I don't want to ride that. It looks scary. Drop them in line. <laughs> and is there a way out of this queue? Absolutely not. That's Houston fandom right there. UMass at Eastern Michigan. Grayfield. Don Brown. He's at home, folks. I mean, what color is chowder but gray? I don't know, man. We, oh, we don't, God. We... They, no, gray chowder is very disturbing. Um, I would go with beige. No, it's gray. Chowder's white? No, but like how long like was cream? it in your okay, fridge? Time, My time God. Out, time out. Uh, uh, that, is this when we learn that Jordan's colorblind? No, it's look, okay, but like there's some that are like that, but like look at this one. Maybe it's just the lighting. Hold up. <laughs> I sure hope it is. Like that looks great to me. Are you okay? Are is you everything okay? okay? I am. What's wrong? Man, that's I, not that's, gray. That is clearly not gray. What is that? that is, white? That is an yes. off white. This- also, it's covered in cheese. That soup has a cheese hat. Oh, okay. Look, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna. There's here's a picture from a clam chowder from a place. Uh, Eat Drink 101 says one of the top ten clam chowders in uh, Pimento Beach. None of these are gray. What about this that's one? That's not gray either. What do you, I mean, look, that's gray. Like if you look, look, look <laughs> at the shell of the clam. That's, that's gray. gray. Okay. Oh, I found a textured clam chowder. I'm scared. Also not gray. Uh, oh, this is this know. is a 15 mega picture that I'm uploading to the, to the Discord. Okay, that's, I'm, it's going to be large. That one from Harbor Hut looks really delicious, by the way. Okay, that's great. Yeah, that looks good. 
Well, the the other one with the clams on the outside looks great too. How about that one? That text so that texture. Why does that look like grits? I don't know. That's, that's what my brain did too. That's cl- clam grits. Okay, fine. So Ew. it's not gray. Okay. So he's on it's a gray not, deal. These are gray. With white chowder. All right. All right. Seriously. Listener, if I, Jordan approaches you with gray chowder, seriously. Run, run as fast as you can. That is a food safety issue. Do not. No, you're, you're about jo- to get super legionnaires. Disease. We are never, we are never sending Jordan to Lowe's or Home Depot to pick a color of off white because he's going to say they're all gray. Mm-hmm. This man does not know Iksha. I, I will say that I feel like I cursed <laughs> UMass with my chowder thing week one. I got so excited, and it's not going to happen. The, the the chowder bowl is now cursed. I feel like we it may is. Never, we may never fill any more ingredients. Let's let's hope we get some eventually. Again. Oh no, this is like the mine cart. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the mine cart that never got filled the season, second season. Yep. Yeah, the first season it got filled. Second season we brought it back. We weren't as confident, but they know, did. They the, did beat East Coast time last year. They did. That was good. They got close. They were one game away. One game away, but UMass, I, I, I don't know. If they win this game, I think they're kind of back on track, but they're going to need it big time. And I don't know if, you know, Eastern Michigan hasn't looked that great. They struggled with, was it Howard or Hampton? I think it was Howard. I think it was Howard, yeah. Yeah, it was Howard. And then they did not do well against Minnesota. Maybe they got a shot, you know. Don Brown could get people fired up for the gray field. So our we'll top see. our top ten is or as currently it's ten teams with games we talked about: Syracuse, Purdue, Pitt, West Virginia, Virginia Tech, Rutgers, NIU, Nebraska, Battle of Enchantment, FIU, UConn, Virginia, Maryland, Georgia State, Charlotte, TCU, Houston, and UMass Eastern Michigan. I kind of like instead of Battle of Enchantment, I kind of like the Enchantment Entanglement. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. That just came or, to me. Or the enchanted battle, which makes it sound like everyone is wizards. <laughs> or or like it's in a Narnia book. Also good. My brain is just giving me enchanglement for some en- reason. Enchanglement. <laughs> You're enchanted and entangled. I yeah, I don't know. TCU Houston is now calling to me. Oh. Those are the I, top ten games. Those every are the top one ten of games these we got. Game is likely to be intensely stupid. Mm-hmm. In just the best way. They they may not be the final top ten games because there's been some shuffling. This is probably like our third revision of the rankings right now, so there may be some surpri- surprises. They're they're really not in any particular order, but we'll we'll continue moving down the list because you know some media folks say that week three is a dud, and I'm gonna say hell no. This is our week. You want stupid? We got stupid. We got it. This should be fun. Before we go on, let's, stupid, let's plug our no, things I'm first. <laughs> yes, thank you, stupid. Let's plug our things. Thank you. Great Speaking transition. Stupid. <laughs> Join our Patreon slash Discord. Let's talk about people who give us money. For five US dollars a month, you can come talk to us about our weekly ratings debate, chat live during the games, see the inner workings, give us ideas, and drop stuff for us to post as well. We're always happy to take new ideas. We love our new folks, and we're happy to see more. You also get access through the Patreon to our, our paywall Substack posts. And Kamish's Corner. Kamish last week talked about the season where Rice won a piece of the SWC championship by going four and three along with five other teams. Yeah, a five-way 1994 SWC tie, conference title tie. I have another one planned soon. I'm, I'm hoping I can get to it this week. But I have I have uh, my first practice as a soccer coach again. Oh, we get updates again. Coming up. Yeah. So those will be back. So the practice, which is an hour long from 530 to 630 in the heat outside, which I, I y'all, y'all hope I just don't die. I mean, this could be so hot. Commissioner Emeritus. No. What's the way what you call it when they die? It's not Commissioner Emeritus. It would be like condi- Commissioner Memoriam. I don't know. In Memoriam. The com- oh, if you die, I am putting together your best quotes in an In Memoriam like segment to the end of the season. Thank Could you, we I... just like say like instead of he's dying, he'll just be replaced. He's like the Dowager Commissioner. Mm-hmm. We have a merch store at sickos committeesellfystore Our new Live Laugh Punt sticker, along with some new stuff I'm working on this week. The Message Board Geniuses podcast is wonderful. They're a great account that goes to the places that we refuse to go to, except that one time I lo- I looked on Tiger Droppings and immediately regretted it. No, you didn't. <laughs> you you almost got sucked in. I almost did. That's why I regretted it. 
We have our Sicko Substack that includes our weekly synopsis, synapses, synopsis, 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 synopsis. Okay. synopsis. As well as this week, our Detmer 2.0 is coming out. We have our explainer post almost ready to go, along with some new numbers. We're very excited. We about fixed that. it in everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're so good at data analysis. We put Penn State, Syracuse, and WVU in a bubble together for some I reason. I don't fucking understand that. I was so confused. Because no matter how many times I tried to, like, reshuffle those clusters, those three teams came up together every single time. That's, like, the sign of the apocalypse or something, as far as I'm concerned. So y'all have fun with that. Yep. You opened a hell mouth. How sweet. No, and it And it's in that cent Centrinalia? It's in Centrinalia. There we go. That's where the hell mouth is for those. those I have to drive areas. there. I have to drive there later next week. I'm very excited. Can you Ooh. give me one of those candles? I got to get rid of these mosquitoes. Can you give me one of those tires? <laughs> and lastly, if you're like us and you need some great college football gear that is soft, comfortable, and licensed by your favorite schools, go to Homefield Apparel. Offer code yes, ha ha ha, yes, three ha's for 15% off your first order. And of course, our weekly sicko showdown. For 25% off, there are special shirts that we've selected with Home Field Apparel. This week, Kansas State and Mizzou and the Kansas State shirt is a band shirt, and it's awesome. Yeah, and you, it's purple. You, everybody loves the, the band shirt. Shout out to Wabash, Cannonball, and I believe it's, is it Wildcat Victory for the Kansas band, the pride of... It's also not just not just Kansas, it plays Wabash. Everyone knows, okay. Texas fans are going to get real pissy if they don't mention their dude. Too. That's fine. And then we also have our old shirts on there, the ones we picked before. So the Auburn shirt, the Cal shirt, and then what the first week, the North Carolina shirt, South Carolina shirt. Yeah. And those are available still... all season long until the sizes go out. Yeah, and... once the sizes go out, the code goes away. So And this is twenty five percent off whether you've ordered before or not, which is even better. That's right. I I keep looking at that South Carolina shirt. And I, like I go back and forth and back and forth, and it's like, man, I, it's it's such a good you know what you did kind of shirt. Oh yeah, that 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 rooster is pissed. Oh, that is an extremely judgmental bird. Speaking of judgmental birds, oh, I thought it was gonna be, I thought I could roll into the next game, but it's not it. Uh, Hold up, let me try that again. Let me find one with a bird mascot. Uh, uh, speaking speaking yeah. of judgmental birds, it is uh, uh, Fresno State and Arizona State. Okay, no, no, I was going to go right. like, yeah, I think your best bet for judgmental birds is going to be Army at UTSA. Have, oh yes, perfect. Or there North we go. Texas. Mm. Oh, North, North Texas, Texas at La Tech. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually that. Caca. Okay, oh. fine, but I fucked the transition, so fine. Fresno State, Arizona <laughs> State. Fresno State played who last week? Eastern Washington. And snuck by. Yes, in OT or as a double hmm. OT. And then there was overtime and, involved. And, I don't know how and many. And then Arizona went to uh, two OTs or one. I can't remember how many against Mississippi this is State. Arizona State. This is Arizona oh, State. Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay. They got, they, got, they, got, they got their shit wrecked by, uh, by Oklahoma. I wouldn't State. say wrecked. Eventually did. It got a hand. It, they faded down the stretch. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's a little bit better than got their shit wrecked by Mike We are Gundy. ostensible college football experts, listener. <laughs> they on. got a little sleepy. It was, it was after dark. It was after dark, and it's hot out. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Temperature <clears throat> and Tempe Saturday. Haboob. Ha uh, we can only hope. Uh, yeah, it is going to be a high of 105, oh. but it is going to get down. It'll be right around 100 at kick. Oh, oh. That's refreshing. <laughs> so there you go, Fresno State. Step away from Fresno will be used to that. It's, it's nice in Fresno. Uh, I remember when they played like UConn like a year or two ago. It was like 110 on the turf. It's like 88 in Fresno right now. Okay. That's not too bad. Unpalatable. BYU and Arkansas, a game that might probably be an SEC game in six years. Who knows? Don't speak that into existence. For a moment, I thought this was a Big 12 game. It just tells you how like broken my brain is. Although I do, now that you say that, I do like the idea of BYU at Ole Miss. BYU in the Grove. Hey, has BYU ever gone to LSU? They played a neutral site game with them, and I think it was in New Orleans or it was in Houston, but I don't think they've gone to LSU. Because that tailgate. Mm. Yeah, you're seeing it. Mm -hmm. Be a lot of fun. How about some Navy at Memphis on a Thursday night? As God intended. This is going to be part of the ticket package deal. If you remember, several teams are doing it this year. 
but Memphis is what I think the first. They say said that if you buy the first ticket for was it a hundred bucks? No, Bethune, less than that. Bethune Cookman, like and sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, and you basically get the next game free if they keep winning. Yeah. So if they keep winning at home, you basically could buy a season ticket for like sixty bucks. So this is game two for Memphis. So they need to beat Navy to keep that going. This is on a Thursday night. Um, also, the BYU uh, LSU game was in New Orleans. It was in the Superdome. It wasn't okay. in. So that's even a little bit more unique, I would say. BYU fans walking down Bourbon Street. You yep. think they would do it? Yeah, they'd probably do Just it. Just to watch. Yeah. There are people watching, which there's plenty of that in New Orleans. Mac Brown gets his dream come true. Because last week oh, he yeah. said, I don't want to play App State anymore. North Carolina State, North Carolina State, North Carolina, oh my God. Yeah, NC State and East Carolina can do it. And lo and behold, this week, East Carolina going to Boone. And yea, verily, it came to pass. Oh, it's at Boone? No, it's in Boone. And that's a problem. Because this is one of those where I need to see what their Winsipedia thing is because they've played before, and I want to say... East Carolina has probably won the majority of them, I would think. No, App State actually has the series 20-12. to 12. Ooh, okay. First game played in 1932. Oh, Ooh. God. Like, App State won the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The first ten games in this series... App State won them all. So, yeah, that they got a 10-game head start. In recent history, uh, which is not necessarily recent, because the most recent game they played was 2021. App State won that one. Uh, but 2012, 2009, 1979, 1978, 77, and 76, uh, East Carolina won those. Um, and this is kind of a – there needs to be a trophy here. Give me a trophy. So I was trying to see if they had one, uh, but apparently they, App they State and Western Carolina had the battle for the old mountain jug. Yeah, we, we talked about that like a couple of podcasts okay. ago. So for yeah. this one, we need like a pirate thumb wrestling at um, a mountaineer, but the pirates using like their little hook hand. It's the Buccaneer trophy. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh, this isn't even hard. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. You win. Done. North Texas at Louisiana Tech. Hey guys, without looking, is this a conference game? Ah, no, not no? Anymore. not anymore. It took me a while to realize that this is not a conference game because North Texas is not in anymore. the American now. What the fuck? No, oh, I would, God. I would have nope. been like, I would have been like, hold on. I was like, not anymore, not this year. But they, yeah, this, one, was... this is a this like this emotionally feels like a conference See, game. I was thinking like a Cusa Sun Belt, not that one of them's in the America. Oh, I used, hate this. This used to be Cusa Sun Belt because North Texas was in mm -hmm. the Sun Belt before they joined Cusa. Mm -hmm. College football, why are you this way? I hate this. Why do y'all hate this? This makes it incredibly sickos, but it's it's a lot of fun I'm, to try to remember this stuff. It's but it's not sickos in the fun way. It's sickos I, in the I hate this way. I, I like this Make game. Better flashcards for the. I like American. this game because it's just basically it's on I twenty. Like Denton to Ruston, you got you got two towns ending in O N. Yeah. A lot of fun there. That's your definition of fun. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, Denton and Ruston, two cities that are basically the same. I feel like somebody out there somewhere has to have a set of twins named Denton and Rustin. Guaranteed. Named for where they were conceived. <laughs> I got I got two refrigerators, one both in the garage. One is Denton and one is Rustin. I'm gonna start naming but, all my appliances <laughs> off of like out of like cities of the Sun Belt. This is this is my deep freeze Hattiesburg. <laughs> Army at UTSA. Friday night in the Alamo Dome. Oh man, this is you know this is party time. Look, I'm gonna give you this like San, Ant Good. San Antonio is an incredibly military city. It, no, so there's gonna is, be a ton of is, army people here. This is this is a really kind of a little bit of like a neutral site game almost for UTSA because there there's a huge army base, air force base. Um, you know, there's so many military in the city of San Antonio. There's going to be a good attendance for that, along with the UTSA fans on a Friday night, too. Oh, man, that is going to be fun for that. So I, I'm interested to see. And, and Army passes, all right? Army's going to pass a little bit. 
All right. Everyone chill, the fuck. Everyone chill the fuck out. And Everybody calm down. chill. You know, you know, I should be happy that we got a, like a lot of retweets <laughs> off of like a 59 yard army pass. But it's like, hey, they kind of pass now. My favorite response was someone just going, this is fascism. <laughs> 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 Vanderbilt at UNLV. Vandy got to go to Hawaii last year, and now they're going to Vegas. And I think whoever their travel person is is amazing. Bright light city, gonna set my doors, gonna oh, set my doors on fire. Except that, <laughs> sorry, I had to do it. They're gonna, they're gonna <laughs> smoke UNLV. There's like, there's I. Oh, uh, oh you're always you. Yeah, you've always got to be like that, I that, don't know. That's setting the doors on fire. Oh, it is. It is. I think we know. That turnover slot machine ain't going to be used. That's all I'm saying. Uh, mm. I don't know. Vandy kind of struggled with Hawaii. Wake beat them up pretty good. What is you the... Know, they did beat Alabama A&M, but I have no idea. That... What's the weirdest casino-themed turnover token? Turnover Baccarat table? Turnover roulette wheel? Yeah. I, I don't know. That might be kind of fun if, like, oh, you get the turnover. Oh, time out. Okay. Giant table. Each space is big enough to put a ball on it. And so you put the ball down, you spin the wheel, and if it comes up your number, I don't know, more NIL money. I don't fucking know. I like my idea. It, it's it's the turnover buffet table. You mm-hmm. get a turnover, you just watch people just throwing down canapes as fast as they can. Crab legs, just like housing mm-hmm. crab legs. The turnover turnover buffet. Ooh. Ah, oh, there we go. What would it sideline seafood buffet during a game? Oh god. Oh no. With just people dropping shells on the ground. This feels just, like a one-way ticket just, for all kinds of food poisoning. I just, oh, the just temperature, temperature really control, shrimp, absolutely not. As far as the eye can see. Oh, yeah, and just and, and linemen sitting there just, like, tossing shrimp not gonna, on the side. Yeah, and, gonna, all you, and all you do is you just pop the top off of one of the Gatorade containers and dip it in the marinara <laughs> sauce, and then... I'm just imagining that there's a play that, that goes out of bounds and they knock over the entire buffet. No! <laughs> also, the smell. Yeah. Oh, Imagine yeah. the smell. Sweat, sweat and seafood. Stri- stricken right now. I hate fish. So even the thought of any of this is like deeply disturbing to me. And you and I both know you're going to be able to smell that thing for like a good 14 or 15 rows. Oh, I, I, uh-huh. I mean, the Raiders are going to smell it the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when the offensive linemen do what the offensive linemen always do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is a smell that is never, ever, ever coming out of the jerseys or shoulder pads. Have fun equipment management. Wait, which tunnel are we going out through? The shrimp puke tunnel? That <laughs> that tunnel? <laughs> Seagulls just like coming into Vegas. <laughs> they fly all the way in because they could smell it so far out. We call it the chum bucket. Don't ask why. <laughs> How about some Northwestern at Duke? <laughs> Nerds. Yeah. Usually this would be this usually this would be like the nerd fight we'd all laugh about it but now Duke I'm afraid is going to put Northwestern through a table. Yeah, honestly my biggest take about this is that it feels weird that it's at number 18 but that's also the right place to put it. 18 for now. But yes, it, it's about right. It's like last year I think it was like 3. Yeah. And, and then like I now it's like it we're kind of like you're like okay, no, Duke is it's kind of good here. And and Northwestern is not handle Northwestern. And Northwestern's not like comically bad. They don't do fun things being bad. They're just bad. No, they're, they're just, just bad. normal bad. They're just, they're just like three and out punt bad. Right. Yeah. But like and the punt and the punt is like a solid 36 yard punt that gets fair caught. It's not even like, oh, they punt for yeah. one or they punt for 90. No, it's okay, yeah. We we love punts, but you know, it, give us a little bit more razzmatazz. I mean, yeah, it's just like here's like a, a nice uh, punt of, of of forty yards, even. That's it. They wait for a fair catch. There's no return. There's no shenanigans or anything like that. Just a nice red blooded American punt. <laughs> Duke did win this game last year as well. That was it. Was fun. I enjoyed that one. That was a good one last year. What's the line on that game this year? I'm gonna guess duke minus five is duke not in the top 25 they're number 21 on okay they're in. okay, <laughs> okay. Like... how about how about duke minus 18 and a half jesus christ oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. i mean northwestern is I was, bad but like... i was afraid it was something oh, like that oh christ okay. okay we reignite the border war not that border war another border war from the border conference utep at arizona 
that means we have games in Tempe and Tucson at the same time, which is wonderful. Mm-hmm. This one just got let you calls for aid. This one just got bumped to 10 p.m. Central, so 11 Eastern. Oh, hell yeah! So this oh, is our boy. nightcap. Uh, it was at nine. There's but no, they backed it up an hour. There's no Hawaii game. There's no Hawaii. Well, Hawaii's you know yeah. down the list a little bit here, but uh, the Hawaii's on the mainland uh, this week. So uh, yeah, this is these are two turnover prone teams that get together and let's see if they throw a lot of turnovers in the fish tank. UTEP is very bad. We just, we figured out. And Arizona, as I forgot earlier and called confusing with Arizona state hung with Mississippi state. This is yeah, not going to be great for my, my minors. I did. Did you guys see the chart I did earlier this week where I showed who's playing who this week in different conferences? It was a very confusing chart I made. Oh yeah. The court very chart. pretty the court chart. Yeah. Pretty. So this is for the pac 12. Big Sky Mountain West Challenge Week. Four teams, like 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 literally, I think like half the conference is playing one or the other, except for I think one conference game. And uh, this is one of the Mountain West ones, or this is like this is an all Mountain West conference game. My bad. Utah State Air Force. I had Air Force in the Pac-12. Just wait. Three conferences enter. Four conferences. Who knows? Leave? Utah State Air Force. This is this should be fun, although. Air Force should just take them out because Utah State was, again, I say they're bad, bad, but they hung 70 whatever on, on Idaho State. State. Idaho I State. Said yes. it. I said it. Don't come you at me, it. Vandals. Or Bengals. Oh my God. Yeah, Bengals too. Uh, yeah, this is like just Mountain West Fair that I'm not sure about because Air Force should win this. It's in Colorado Springs, which I think helps. Yeah, I think so. How about Should be fun. How about Lafayette at UAB? Not the who? not the Leopards. Louisiana Lafayette at UAB. I don't mm. know who that is. Don't know who that is. No, no idea who that school is. I want to see. Or do you mean the Raging Cajuns? I I mean the University of Louisiana. Uh, I, I, don't I, know who that I have is. no clue who that is. No, no idea. What is that? What did I say? Is that the one that's in Louisiana College in in Pineville? What is what? What did I say the other day that weirded you guys out? Oh, you said Louisiana, Louisiana State. State University, yeah. like that's a thing that people say. That's right. Uh, Twenty one bucks for these tickets. Of the commission. Okay. Twenty one is the lo- the cheapest to get into this one. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can get UAB at Tulane for four dollars on September thirtieth. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Like oh my goodness! Go do that. Yeah. Oh my God. That's why are all of you allergic to fun? Go fix that. Then we have Iowa state is traveling to Ohio. Why not? Well, the state of Ohio. Yes. But more particularly Ohio university in Athens, Ohio to play the Bobcat. Why? I I don't know. There's a lot of P five teams this week going to G five games, but it's like the lesser P five teams that are going to G five stadiums to play them at their stadium. Yeah, I mean, like, that's occasionally a thing. Pitt played at Akron. I went. It poured. It was great um, when I was in school and has played at Western Michigan. Like, that's a thing. But Iowa State, I feel like you could have picked one that was, like, more convenient to travel to for you than Ohio. It's, it's so just I'm weird. developing... I'm developing a new headcanon okay. for this situation because I'm beginning to think that somewhere out there, there is an unscrupulous travel agent that is working with these <laughs> athletic directors <laughs> who's like, yeah, we could definitely get you guys in with Ohio State. Like, so we'll be playing the Buckeyes. You'll be playing in the state of Ohio. Uh-huh. Yep. Totally. Yep. And look, look at the flight package we can get you. It's going to be great. And they get like midway, they finally get to the end of planning and they like put the logo up on the schedule. And they're like, wait, wait a minute. We thought we were, ah, oh, dang it. Larry got us again. <laughs> Iowa's done this before. Iowa State's done this before. They've played Ohio eight times. They've won all eight. But in, back in 2001, they went to Athens. So this is uh, on purpose? Apparently so. Western Michigan at Iowa. This is a big one for you, Brian Ferentz fans out there. Brian Ferentz heads. Because if they don't run the points up here, I don't know when they're going to do it. So how many do they need to score to undo the damage of El Asico? Six. Well, so 25 plus six. 
but you want to okay. get you need 25 for this and game they were, plus the six and they were one in the hole before that they were, yeah. they, they've been six in the hole yes Okay. Can we can we make this like version? Because as one of our our uh, committee members, uh, one of our patrons, stated that we should have uh, used Fahrenheit as a as a temperature measure. Mm-hmm. And so there's a book called uh, you know Fahrenheit 451. Mm-hmm. Can we make it Fahrenheit 325? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yes. yeah. That's beautiful. Done. By by yeah done. done. Uh, I'm just gonna put that in the chat like totally yeah no contacts in the chat if you join our discord and you know we record late at nights on on sunday nights and and tuesday nights uh we just throw no context images from the podcast and you can just figure out what we're trying to talk about or just be utterly confused and wait until we release the podcast two days later i'm going to get talk about one or two more in particular and then we will uh go to uh, uh quick rounds here can I interest you in a Western Michigan at Iowa? I just said that one. How about LSU Mississippi <laughs> State? There we go. We have an SEC conference game. And it's okay. LSU going to Starkville. In the morning, 11 a.m. Central, which is normally a slow start or trouble for LSU. When do you start uh, tailgating for an 11 a.m. kick? Are you kidding me? You don't go to bed Next- on, on, on Friday night. Yeah. You just stay up all Friday. No, LSU fans have RVs. They have their fifth wheels. They, they're there on like Thursdays. Oh, hey. By, oh, by the way, Kamish, since, since you have the purse strings, uh, I'm starting to look for a uh, school bus that we can appropriate and drive around to games okay. for, our, for our game day show. If the school bus is too expensive, I mean, maybe we can get like a broken down ambulance, but I would kind of like it maybe like Ghostbuster style. A hearse. Uh, if, if the, you know, I mean, if we get a hearse too, whatever. I, Ooh, I, actually, 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 Beth and I can sit in the back and like go roll on the wheels back and forth. When Kamish hits the brakes, we'll just go wee and slide down the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that feels right. <laughs> then we then we have Minnesota at North Carolina. This game has never been played. I, I feel like this had to be like some sort of like red box bowl. Oh. How was this or, not a Duke's Mayo bowl? This, 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 game has this never had been to be, played. this had to be like some, like it was played in, in a baseball field, uh bowl game. It, it feels like it's happened before. And I don't believe that they've never played before, but okay, whatever. They've never just a music city ass bowl. Never played. Seriously. Before. That's what it feels like. And that's so bizarre. We have PJ Fleck and Mac Brown in the same field guys. Oh my god! That handshake at the end. We're rolling the boat. Who's gonna Who's gonna ag- more aggressively handshake the other? Who's oh. gonna go in for the weirder hug? Who's gonna hold on the long? Oh. oh no, Mac Mac is one hundred going one hundred percent going to get PJ by the neck. Oh, the he's well, going if, to assert if, his dominance. If they if North it's Carolina the- wins, but if Minnesota wins, Mac normally tries to retreat a little bit. It's gonna be a so, big hug. It's gonna, it's gonna be the dude handshake into the hug but you're supposed to give three pats and you let go but then pj's just gonna rest his hand on the nape of mac's neck okay just do you do you good. feel in charge that was my ba- that was my bane impersonation guys yeah, okay it was very good that was my, that was my bane let's go rapid fire here uh, until we actually, get to the weird stuff i, I don't i want to talk about this next game because it is our t-shirt game okay. kansas state Perfect. missouri this is a Big 12 classic. Big 12 North it, classic. It is. Pick girl, back in the day, there was this thing called the Big 12. Well, I mean, they used to around. have 12 teams. And they used to have, yeah. two, they used to have, two, they actually have two divisions. Mm-hmm. Yes. One was an up one and a down one. An up one and a down one. As a young pit girl, I remember being upset that Texas A&M was inflicting itself upon the sec when I, yes. long ago. when I was a when i was a young young boy that's what i thought so as well <laughs> what what do you think the all-time series is in this game they had to have played like 80 times or something they played a bunch they they have played i'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess it's mizzou by a pretty comfy oh it has game. to be they they have yeah I Wait, guess. Oh, how many, they, how many games did they play bad 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 bad, bad for a long right. time yeah so, mizzou was like mid bad not like bad bad so they've played 98 times I was going to say, this is an old rivalry. This is, yeah. and it's, it's like 66 Mizzou, 33 Kansas State. Yeah. Well, you, you nailed the Kansas State total at 33. Uh, Mizzou has 60 wins, five yeah. ties, 
and 33 wins that's for pretty, K-State. That's pretty damn good for me. And K-State's going to pound record. them into ground like a tent peg this oh, time. Oh, yeah. K- Kansas State is so going we'll, to just. Italian. We'll do this from the Bill Snyder era because Bill Snyder joined in 1989. Mizzou has won one, two, three, four, five, seven. I'm sorry, eight since 1989. Yeah, that feels right. Uh, so, yeah, K-State uh, won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen in a row under Bill Snyder against Mizzou. Hmm. So, yeah, it should be fun. K State parentheses Bill Snyder's version. What about Kansas going to Nevada? Nevada. Nevada. <laughs> Another. Who was your travel agent? Oh no, this makes sense because Vandy can afford Vegas. Kansas mm-hmm. has to Look, afford Kansas, Reno. Kansas got to go. Gonna... Got to go to Reno. You get to get like the golden nugget in Reno. It's wonderful. It's nice. They got a buffet too. I think Nevada is very bad, and I think Kansas is just going to. Yeah, this yes. feels like this is going to be a good time for Kansas, actually. So, Sexy like, Legs Jayhawk can out there be out there, like, doing the sexy leg thing. Yeah, man. When are we getting the fishnet Jayhawk? I'm, I'm waiting I got for the it. I got the fishnets. I'm trying to get the shoes on. Okay. All right, okay. get the shoes on. Leggy boy. boy. Then, sexy Jayhawk. Tennessee at Florida, the second Saturday in September, whatever this fucking game's called. I, this was last sure. year. I found out that it, this game had a name, and I was like, "What the fuck? I've never heard of the second Saturday in September." Let me make sure of that. Wait, that's not real. That's not real. That's the third Saturday in October. So this game is called the third Saturday in September. No, no, it, it that's is. fake. I, I, it. it used I, to be called that until now. I said that on the it. account last year, and I got dragged for it. I don't well, care. Everyone was like, us. "Well, in NCAA wrong, fourteen, in NCAA fourteen, it was called the second the third Saturday in September. But yeah, anyways, this game, I think Florida is bad. And I think that Tennessee is going to just. It's at Florida. Tennessee had trouble with Austin P for about three seconds. We don't currently have evidence that Tennessee is good. It was 30 to 13. Are you kidding me? I have evidence that Florida is bad. Yes. Are you sure? They played Utah. They got wrecked by Utah. And Utah had a hard time with Baylor. God damn it. Circles yeah. don't work. I mm-hmm. I cannot wait. For, we only um, have two data points. I cannot wait for LIU to scare Baylor this week, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, the Baylor just, Bears get, just, caught, just get like, caught in the Sharknado just of LIU. Playing the Jaws music. Just, the just put the fear song. of God in them a little bit, so to speak. Get, what's Ian Zeering doing? Get him down there to Waco for the Sharknado. How about Louisville and Indiana, a conference game? I'm just joking. Again, feels like it could be a future Big Ten game. Uh, it's a neutral the Big side Ten game. would never get off its academic high horse enough to accept Louisville. Oh, I was assuming Indiana just left. <laughs> yeah. Wait till the Big Ten. Future ACC game. Maybe. Indiana, Indiana I- left to go to the ACC to because it's a better basketball conference. Mm-hmm. This one's at Lucas Oil? Yep. Sure. Why? The Hoosiers get to play at the side of the Big Ten conference game. The Big Ten Conference Championship. Game. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a graphic that says the Hoosiers are Ooh. playing at the side of very the big stretch thing, the Big Ten Championship game. Indiana, it's not the Final Four. What are you doing? They don't know what that one is either. They've been there in a while. Oh, who? We're gonna get emails. Indiana's a music school. All emails can be directed to compliance at sickoscommittee.biz. Dot mamba. Dot mango. Whatever I had. We have mango. <laughs> Those are all the weird ones. Wake Forest at Old Dominion. Yeah, at Old Dominion. Yeah, that feels like a choice. Wake Forest. Stuck in the elevator. Two. Oh, I don't know. Um, two lane at Southern Miss. Is this a conference game? No. This feels like it should be. It's a rivalry, though. It is. This is for the victory bell. No. Is this the other victory? Do we have two victory bells this week? It's victory bell trophy. There's going to be like 4,000 of them. 700. This is the battle for the bell. Battle for the bell? The victory bell uh-huh. is Cincinnati, Miami. Of which, is this, okay. which is also this week. Also Cal Poly, Fresno State? Not this week. It's Penn just State straight... evidently also has one. This is some bullshit. I told you. Like, there's... Duke. there's too many of these. This game has been played 39 times. Southern Miss, Tulane. And yep. Like this again, feels like it should be a conference game. It is not. But I, I'm just going to copy this year trophy. 
It it mm. was USC, like, USC, UCLA. Okay, also okay, okay. okay. The bell has has the angry wave on it, so I'm suddenly in favor Ooh. of this bell. On the other side, that has the eagle. So no, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I do. I don't like that it has like the the wavy T logo on the on the plaque, but whatever. I can live with that. The bacon uh, it's wave. Not- no, not the bacon wave. No, it's the, the, like, the oh. crashing wave. Oh, with for, the, the wave on uh, the tea. Okay, further the photographic tea. evidence. This it's not small. No, oh, that's a big. Okay, bell. it's a big bell. Yeah. So that's, Tulane, a, he- that's a heavy boy. I guarantee. Tulane you lost this. Weighed. Tulane you know lost this game last year. Uh, we don't know how much it weighs, but Tulane will weigh stuff for us. They have. They weighed the cotton mold. It was like 40, 43.8. So they, if they win it, we can ask them how oh, much it sure. weighs. They will Tulane, win for us. We're going to need you to do a thing for oh, us. You got to win. They got to win it first. Mm-hmm. You know, once you we're win gonna it, we're going to ask you. Two things for us. That's right. Win first, weigh Bell second. Yes. James Madison at Troy, a Sun Belt Conference game that should be very good, except Troy looked real slow against Kansas State last week. But that's, that's K State, though. I, again, that's the problem, right? Is it is it K State's that good? Or is I, honestly, Troy dropped this, off? This. This should have been the Sun Belt Conference title game last year. Yes. This is what it should have been. So hopefully we'll get something along the lines of, of that this year. South Alabama and Oklahoma State. Hmm, I'm sure. just gonna I'm just gonna put my notes and, and just read them out loud about this game. It's it's South Alabama at Oklahoma State. Uh my notes for this game. Hmm. That's enough. <laughs> Alabama at South Florida. <laughs> what the fuck? Was this the look, was, was this the look ahead game? Who did this? Alabama Who? was looking ahead. Overlooked to Texas. what? To Tampa? Yeah. That's right. I'm excited to Tampa. That's right. They were looking forward to scout out the Rely Quest Bowl. Or maybe, maybe the, they can go have fun the in Gasparilla the Gasparilla Bowl. <laughs> They, uh, Bama, just don't play this. Instead, go hang out at the jet ski place my dad got kicked out mm-hmm. of. <laughs> I I didn't look it up because I didn't have time, but I want to see when the last true road non-conference game Alabama played was. Don't ram police boats, kids. On a jet ski? Was he je- no like jousting? Wait, is jet ski <laughs> wait is jet ski jousting a thing? Well, you need did. to understand Go how ahead. much of a landlocked creature Puddles is. And how much he would not realize that something like a jet ski would not possess a brake. Oh no! I mean, it has a brake technically. You, you guys like you got to turn it sideways or no. <laughs> hit a police boat. Problem solved. Oh. What's the most rigid thing you could use for jet ski jousting that would hurt but not cause damage? Isn't the best move like the world's longest pole noodle? It doesn't have enough of a push though. Mm. Baseball bat. So mm. two or two hard. <laughs> No, no, just use a pool skimmer. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, it won't cause too much damage. It'll bend before it kills yeah. you. My my method of fighting, bend, don't break. This is a weird one. Alabama, what are you doing? I hope the ta- I hope the Tampa recruits are worth it. Georgia it Tech. Fun. Georgia Tech at Ole Miss? <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's yep, that just that. Another another game they just drive down I twenty essentially. Um, you know, Oxford's a little bit north of I-20. Well, not a little bit, a good bit north of I-20. But yeah, that's this is an old SEC conference game. Do we ever keep track of what are the busiest interstates in college football in a given week? No, but we hmm. should. Okay, because it sounds start. like I-20 is a very busy. I one. Betcha. It is. Put that in the brainstorming. Of... Okay. Yeah. San Jose at Toledo. This... I, I, just to have in the notes, mm-hmm. it's Mountain West versus MAC. It's like an early season potato bowl, but it's in the glass bowl. But you know this is a rematch of a California bowl. We're back to it fucking is. California bowls again. That's right. The only other time they've played was in a California bowl. I believe the 81 California bowl. California. Why did why does this fucking bowl game keep coming up in our lore? I don't know what it is about that game. Here we come. Now I have Californication in my head. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Dream of California your bowl location. No, nope. not even close. Nope. Miami, not Ohio at Cincinnati, the classic. I wrote down keg of nails, but I was wrong. That's the wrong game. Yeah. This is, no, this keg- it's, it is one of many victory bells as we there's, have. There's another just battle upon. of the bells. Yet another victories bell. There's a bell involved in this one. 
Ding. We're going to have to put a bell in, you know, the trophy case tweet that we're going to do. <laughs> Wyoming at Texas. Hey, Wyoming. Wyoming, Wyoming please. you want to do something fun? Please, please, I'm please, a Texas please, please, fan, please. Wyoming. I can say this. Do it. Do it. Let's go, Cowboys. <laughs> do it. The the Cowboys winning in Austin. This would be, this like, would be like incredibly funny. Emotionally and allegorically and metaphorically. Just it would be a really good day for our friends at Message Board Geniuses. Oh, God, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We got to get Craig Bowl in Austin. That's what we need. Craig Bowl will save us. I want I want Andrew Peasley to, to win this game and then bull ride Bevo. Ooh. Oh, my God. And they'll do it, too. I also love the idea of Andrew Peasley as September Heisman candidate. Oh, yeah. Colorado State at Colorado. Oh, it's so good. Game day's there. Oh, wait. Also, it's so great that Big Noon Saturday's there, too. Only because For they're fuck's all sake. only because they're all too cowardice to go to Morgantown. Honestly, yeah, this is bullshit. You should, you guys should yeah. be mad about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's horseshit. Hey, uh, just quick question here. Uh, I'm gonna pull up a couple of stats real fast because I feel like I need to say this. If I look at passing yards allowed, <laughs> and I look at who's allowed the most passing yards this year so far by game, even uh, that would be 466 passing yards allowed by Colorado State. Mm. Now, it's a good but, thing. But that, guess what? But they're they're playing a run heavy team, right? No, no. Mm. But but Colorado State has only played one game. That is true, right? And it was Wazoo. That's right. And it was Wazoo who, Wazoo, while being pass more. happy, is not Shutter Sanders. Colorado by. I don't. I don't know why they went to this game. It's just Coach Prime. Yep. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, we all know why they went to this game. Honestly, if it's if, not a good reason, if if Purdue would have beaten Fresno. You would have had 2 and 0 Syracuse versus 2 and 0 Purdue. They'd still have gone to Colorado. They still no. would have gone to Colorado. No. Yeah, no. They were they would not and have gone to West Lafayette. No. They, I don't know why I'm thinking that. Also and, like if Pitt had won, they still would have gone here too. Like this is not this is about getting clicks from people who do not listen to this podcast. But, but, but they they're do. not even going to pay for their sins whenever they all pick Colorado to win. Nope. No. No. And who's Colorado play the week after that? You remember? I think it's Oregon. Colorado, Oregon. We're, we're going to go to Eugene to cover Colorado for the fourth Yeah, there it goes. Oh, Jesus. It's the Colorado uh, game day, big noon Saturday tour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Okay, let's talk about more There's... of our games. Georgia Southern at Wisconsin. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, we have, hey. This, uh, like five years ago, this would have been, you know, running the ball, three yards in a cloud of dirt. But now this is air raid game. It's, it's Air Raid Wisconsin versus Air Raid Georgia Southern. The roles are reversed. Now you have Georgia Southern who beat a red and white wearing Big Ten West team last year. Could they do it again? I think so. Just just the freewheeling fun and fancy free of Wisconsin. Whee! Again, though, Statesboro, Madison. These folks mm-hmm. have a lot in common. This is going to be a great tailgate. Pit girl's eyebrows are extremely raised. You don't I think, think so? They, I think this is. I think these are simpatico drinkers. Say it with me, pimento bratwurst. Mm. But like, you do understand that Madison is like a a city. I know, but like like a, the Wisconsin tailgate crowd, though. Okay, that's what I mean more than that. Yeah, okay, yeah, the folks from Statesboro wandering around Madison proper, maybe not so much. No. Yeah. Yeah, Come see you. our orchestra and drink wine in the park. That's right. Penn State at Illinois. I agree with this one being <laughs> so low because there's no way we get last year again. The oh, no, no it wasn't last year. It was two years ago? They that didn't play last ago. year. Okay. It was two years ago. Time, they they played so many overtimes just, that they couldn't play two oh, years in a row. It, But that game made such an indelible impression on me that it's going to be last year forever. Mm-hmm. Like next year, I'll be thinking back on the last year when they played that wonderful game. I was at a pit game when this game happened, and I still think about it. I didn't watch it, and I still think about it. Hawaii at Oregon. Well, it's been a fun run, Hawaii, for not getting like just totally bodied in games. I the only thing I can say about this game is I feel like the uniforms are going to be phenomenal on both sides. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, you uh, Oregon is about to be stuck in the look ahead trap. They're mm. Looking ahead, looking ahead to that Colorado game. Oh. Gonna overlook the little old rainbows. Still does. 
Florida State at Boston College. We talked about this one. We might as well just dig those graves now. God, Boston College. This is going to be bad. I'm over here lighting a candle and manifesting something for Boston College. Does the tropical storm count? Yeah, that's something. Monkey paws curls. <laughs> San Diego State at Oregon State. A Pac-12 game, eventually, probably. Maybe. Yeah. I hope next week when Oregon State and Washington State come out, I hope they walk out together with like a Pac-12 flag. Uh, honestly, if if both Wazoo and Oregon State take care of business this week, I, I don't know how I feel if game day goes They're, to them. No, they'll go to Eugene. They'll go to Eugene instead. But like you'll have Oregon State that could be 3-0 and mm-hmm. and Wazoo that would be 3-0. and And they would ignore going to Pullman for that game to go see Colorado versus Oregon. Yep. Oregon. That feels about right, unfortunately. Hey, if we ESPN, had funds, if we had our own show. Uh, I mean, ESPN, I don't care. Like, somebody, the I mean, Team One Sports app, Sick House Committee, Game Day, whatever. Seriously, we would do this Levitard show. If we had to do I mean, six, want to be six, counter-programming to ESPN. Oh, that's us. That's Y'all, that's what we need to do. We need to do this podcast live on video on Saturday mornings. <laughs> Okay. I, I'd be cool. more awake. I love all the phases I'm getting. That that yeah. makes one of us that would be more awake. Pick, pick girl, you get the five o'clock hour. Okay. No. I am. Yep. Nope. Mm-mm. You will get me with my Twitter avatar, like pasted <laughs> over the camera, laying horizontal on this couch, making like mm, noises yeah. the entire see, time. My hours the past couple of years basically guarantee that I'll be like, good morning, everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> South Carolina at Georgia. Sure. It's just there because we don't know who knows. It's at Georgia. We It's just there. It's just there. We, we don't fair. know. Because, I mean, it, oh, my God, the line is like hit Georgia by 27 and a half. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. But you never know. No, I mean, It's just one of those. Like, I think South Carolina covers that. Who knows? Yeah, I feel like they could, like, beamer ball their way into covering that. Maybe. ULM. At Texas A&M. Oh, yeah. I'm going to look at the line real fast. Oh, I know what it is. I'm seeing. Can I offer you minus 36? <laughs> That's a lot for A&M to score. I see, 36 and, a, I see 36 and a half. Oh, I, I still, would take, that's like, I take that's 36 over five half. touchdowns. Mm-hmm. That's, that's still over five touchdowns. So we got to have the weekly ULM bet. Um, I need a bet here on one side where whatever, if ULM wins, I got to do something probably crazy outlandish. If ULM covers, I, I got to do something. If ULM doesn't cover, I probably have to do something. So I need a bet here. What's the over-under on this game? Uh, 53 and a half. Ooh. See, I'm, what I'm seeing here, Kamish, is that we got to do something texas for this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what about if ULM wins? Okay. ULM wins like full on out, then you get ooh, like a hot. How are you with hot sauce? I'm good with hot sauce. What's up? Okay, just get like a, like like a ghost pepper sauce, something like that's very you know. Okay, if you want to do that ooh. stuff, okay, we can rework. Ooh, no, I, I mean I'll do it. If ULM wins, what I have to I have to eat. This should be like a reward. Are I you think. calling out his Louisiana-ness? Oh, I guess I, mean, that, I guess that is the reward. Never mind. You know, this has to be nicer. You're right. Right. <laughs> I'm going the other way. Uh, okay. You know the state song "Texas Are Texas." Mm-mm. you're about to <laughs> yeah i think i think if a&m wins that's gonna definitely be your thing i'll get you i'll get you the uh the karaoke version but i mean like if a&m beats the spread i have to do that mm. yeah i think that seems reasonable okay okay so if a&m beats the spread i have to sing what texas our texas mm-hmm. our state song Texas uh, are Texas. Oh, uh, hail the mighty state. Texas are Texas. So wonderful and great. Should I have to sing like an AM song instead? Or I mean, if you want to sing the, if you want to sing the Aggie war hymn, I'll absolutely let you do that too. I mean, I'm don't not. You have to be initiated into the dog cart cult before they let you do that. Or is that just what the secret yeah. verse? Is? That's the secret verse. And that's the secret handshake. All right. So if, if ULM beats a and we've already promised an emergency podcast. Okay, that's yes. that's the that's reward it. then. We'll just say that that's it. That's the reward. There's an emergency podcast we just talk about and just just go insane. Just go, there, what time is emerg- that game? Uh, three p.m. 
So as Pit Girl and I have to like flee to Clarksburg. No, to you get and an I, internet well, signal. Call, you, I don't know. You call, you call us in. We'll, we'll get you on the line. Call in. We'll get you okay. on the phone somehow. We'll be standing we'll in a parking lot at a Methodist so church in Morgantown, if, screaming if into the phone. Yeah. Wins this game. That's right. Um, okay. So if ULM wins this game. Emergency pod. Uh, emergency podcast. That's the reward. If, 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 that's a reward for the listeners and myself to just go insane. If ULM does not cover the spread, I have to sing the Texas A&M. The Aggie wore him. Aggie wore him. I, I mean, can I just do like a verse? I, I don't want to do the whole thing. Oh, uh, I, I, they probably don't sing the fourth verse because it probably talks about things that are no longer okay in public. Okay, <laughs> probably. That's fine. Now, if ULM covers the spread, what, what, what I have to do here? Simple thing. I don't know. Let's just do one. So of the, I don't. Let's just do one or the other. It's just whoever wins. So ULM wins. Emergency pod. A and M wins. We're getting the Aggie war. Okay. Okay. Give That's fine. Kids? No. No spread coverage. No spread I, coverage. I get. So well, I mean, we can I'm only gonna... come up with so many soup based tortures mm-hmm. for you. Well, I mean, you know, if if ULM covers the spread, I was thinking that maybe I had to sing the songs that Terry Bowden sung. Uh, on the crooner's corner of the ULM Warhawk website, where he sang Oh Susanna in a, in a James Taylor style. I was thinking I had to do that. Oh, that's fine. Uh, You're welcome to. If you want to volunteer to yeah, do perfect. that, hey, do it. Thank you for giving us great ideas. If ULM covers, I will sing James Taylor's version of Oh Susanna. If ten, a- A&M covers, I am singing uh, the Aggie War hymn. Uh, if ULM wins, we get an emergency podcast. That is the ULM bet. Then we have Florida Atlantic at Clemson. That happens. Sure. And Akron's going to Kentucky. Sure. Does does Akron take the turnover tires on the road? I hope they like drive them and then take them off the car. Do they just make sure that you switch to your turnover winter tires on the fifteenth of November? That's correct. Do they do they rotate the turnover tires? Or do they use you the have same to ones? get even. You have to get even wear. Mm-hmm. Even wear on the turnovers. Yes. Uh, I there's a cupping pattern on those to- on those turnover tires. Please rotate them. I, I'm also working on going to a game this weekend. I may be going to the SMU Prairie View A&M game, which ought to be Ooh. a lot of fun because I think I think Prairie View is bringing their band to SMU. Ooh. Yay. That's, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now, some weird ones. Hey, guys, Ivy League action starts this week. Who's excited? Woo, That's right. Me. You're talking about the Ivy League. Woo! Holy Cross at Yale. This should actually be a secret banger. Yale's supposed to win the Ivy League this year, and Holy Cross is very good. Idaho at Cal. Hey, Cal, don't fuck this up. Except I'm torn here because I like both these teams. Seriously, this is a classic Pacific Coast Conference battle. This is a conference game. Before the, before the Pac-12 was formed, before the Pacific 10 or Pac-8, it was the Pacific Coast Conference, the PCC, and the Vandals and Bears were a conference game. If I were in San Antonio and didn't want to deal with the mess of the UTSA Army game, I would drive up to San Marcos because Jackson State's going to Texas State. Oh, they're going to bring their band? Uh, I hope so. But I, I hope so. I'm, I'm more interested in seeing if Texas State can keep their momentum up. Because the trip out, but with, it was a rough loss at UTSA in terms of like, it was close. It, some of the, like there was a little bit of like weirdness at the end. But Jackson State is, could come in and have some fun with this. Indiana State at Ball State. Woo! Say it, say it, say it's, the city. It's no, it's it's Muncie, and then it's um Terra Hoyt. <laughs> Ter, it's Terra Hoyt. Terra Hoyt. Right? Terra Hoyt. Terra Hoyt versus Muncie. Northern Iowa, the Idaho. Yard, Indiana brawl. <laughs> Northern Iowa, Idaho State. This is the dome versus dome challenge. One dome going the I can say correct way. Normal way. No, no, can't say that either. Can't normalize it. One bull going the. One way across the field, the other bowl going around the other. Sacramento State at Stanford. This is the old team versus the new coach, the coach that left them. This is the jilted lover challenge. Oh, yeah. Stanford, don't screw this oh, up. Oh, no. Stanford absolutely step into this one. I'm, I, I'm cheering for Stanford because I like their coach right now. But if they trip over this one, I would enjoy it significantly. Pennant Colgate. We. I just wanted to put the image in your head of uh, Quaker brand toothpaste. What I've always wanted, oat flavored toothpaste. So gritty. Mm-hmm. So gritty. <laughs> North- it's, it's exfoliating. Almost, you know a- that your you know your teeth are clean because of the film it leaves behind. <laughs> That's right. It's almost like gray clam chowder. Mm-hmm. 
Ugh. Why? Like, like oatmeal, is oatmeal gray? I had to bring it back. I would call I oatmeal gray back. too. Oatmeal is not gray. It's it's brown. Ish. Like a very light tan. Again, okay. yeah. beige is a good word that you could use beige. instead of gray. Or off brown, if you will. Off brown. Norfolk State versus Temple for blue. Do not forget to behold the green and gold. Mm-hmm. Behold the green and gold against the owls. Princeton at San Diego, a pioneer league trip across country. Sure. Yeah. No, no. Princeton starts their season at San Diego. Yeah. This is their first game. At least it got there early. Yeah. Dartmouth at UNH. UNH, this is our Granite Cup. Dartmouth is turbo screwed on this one. <laughs> but hopefully Buddy Stevens is on the sideline in some capacity after his accident this summer. Feel better, buddy. I hope so. Feel better, buddy. Ferris, Ferris State at Montana. The D2 champs are going to the Bobcats. No, Grizzlies. Holy no. shit. No, Jesus Holy Christ, shit. man. Man, you, you are like angering Arizona, Arizona State, Montana State, Montana. Like, oh. <laughs> we all know that Jordan thrives on opportunities to like piss off various fan bases for engagement, so it's fine. He is just generating quote tweets as we speak yeah. on our podcast. Content. Southeastern Louisiana goes to Eastern Washington. I don't know if we've ever told why we call Southeast Louisiana Sela the Daiquiri Cats. It's because at their stadium, they at least used to sell like $5 daiquiris. Yes. And it's still there. At some point, we realized that their logo, uh, our, our friend Casey in the Discord, photoshopped the picture of their lion looking very happy and sipping a daiquiri. Sipping on one of those like yard dogs or whatever. So, yard dog daiquiris. So yeah, the daiquiri, that's why we call them the daiquiri cats. Yes. So, um, you know, the daiquiri cats go to the red field. Will they think the field is a daiquiri? We will get them a very large straw. Stony Brook at Arkansas State. Sea Wolves versus the Red Bull. Red Wolves. Red Bulls. The Sea Wolves, all one word, versus the Red Wolves. Two were wolves. The two words. We have wolf Two packs. wolves. One, one, you know, one pack of wolves enters. One leave i don't know I'd, i just want to know if the sea wolves will be drawn to the in stadium waterfall in jonesboro hmm. do we end this game with red sea wolves i think i well i think because they'll be covered in their muzzles covered in blood mm. <laughs> then commish went on to went on to blue sky tonight and asked for two more suggestions for games to talk about and we got the jamestown version jamestown jimmies Versus Hastings. Hastings. What's their mascot? I don't know. The Hastings like College Broncos. Broncos. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yes. These are both NAIA schools, I believe. So Jamestown was the school that we watched on that August 24th uh, game versus Valley City State oh, in North right. Dakota. They have lost every game so far this year. They lost to Midland Nebraska University. And then Concordia, Nebraska University. Now they're playing Hastings, Nebraska College. Uh, I believe Hastings is the alma mater of Tom Osborne. Uh, I'm looking at the way. Yes, it is. Notable alumni and faculty includes Tom Osborne. And a prime minister it's, of wait, South no, Korea. It's not that. Wait, it is what? that Tom Osborne. It is from okay. Nebraska. Yes. Yeah, he was also a U.S. rep from Nebraska. That's right. He played for Hastings. Who knew? That's well, Wikipedia, weird. but not me, but okay. Then Pitt State versus Central Missouri. Go Gorillas. Pitt look, State has look, no look at Central Missouri's mascot. Just look it up and just throw it in the chat. We already know the Pitt State Gorillas are, are the, the Gorillas, right? We know their mascot. Oh, I forgot but about look at the other. Dude. Look up that mascot. Such a mad donkey. Mule. Is, Mule. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's, oh, yes. I remember him. It is. I think I beveled this one. Uh, I don't just, yeah, he's just... the one. He's the same as the Slanko mascot. They borrowed him, if I recall correctly. I love that the actual mascot's in a Letterman jacket, though. <laughs> he looks like Fonzie. Hey. Fonzie the mule. <laughs> Fonzie the mule. Oh, I closed that tab. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Too many tabs. Too many tabs. Too many tabs. Found it. 
I do, while you are digging through the yes. tabs, although I guess you found it already, I do have a Pittsburgh State fun fact. And that is that their thing where parents can put money on a student ID card so that you can buy things like toilet paper with it, but you can't buy things like alcohol with it. Okay. That is called banana bucks. <laughs> <laughs> At Pitt State, banana bucks? Because mm -hmm. they're the gorillas. Amazing. Hey, Beth. Tell us about mm -hmm. Teal. So this week, Teal is at home against Bethany. And if Teal is to have a chance to break the uh, home losing streak that they have had going since uh, 2016, this is their best chance to do it, considering that all of their victories since that time and a little bit before have come against Bethany. <laughs> so if it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen this weekend. It's not going to happen. Go Teal. Go Teal. Go to you. Uh, does anyone have anything else? So. Because I have something to close out with. Oh, okay. Y'all good? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, hey, Beth. Mm -hmm. Look at the date. 